Hello. Thank you for coming to see uh, my video. Let's cook at home with Lyric Original. I have my granddaughter with me today. Say hello. Can you see her? Say hi, Mallory. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to put her in her seat real quick in her swing. And today we are going to cook some collard greens, some macaroni and cheese, and um, I'm going to dice up some tomatoes and garlic. It's a little side that I like to have when I have greens. And um, I'm going to add some smoked turkey greens to the greens. So I've already washed my greens, and we're going to get down to it because I've already washed them. So what I'm going to do now is turn my fire on underneath them. Okay. And I'm also going to go ahead and put my macaroni water on. So I'm just cooking for myself. Give me something to eat off of for the week. So this is about, that ought to about do it. So I put that in, in the pot. And I'm going to remember to turn it on right now because I'm notorious for getting to turn on things. All right. We got that going. Get this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get my water for my macaroni. Just a little bit. I'm not going to fill it all the way up. And I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm also, matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, let me add a little sea salt to my water so the macaroni has a little flavor to it. Okay? And the other thing I do too with my macaroni, I add a little onion um, because it just gives it a, a, a nice little taste to it that I, that I really like. But, um, I can wait a few minutes to put that in. So right now we're going to go ahead and get these greens cut up and in the pot and get them going. So, how is everybody? Always like to ask how everybody's doing. Uh, I had a question from uh, Miss Lady Z. She wanted to know if I... Uh, ran my sweet potatoes when I washed the sweet potatoes in the last video under running water if I washed them off with a towel or wiped them off with a towel. Um, and I know some people, you, you want me to tell her? I'm, I'm trying to tell her now. Uh, but what I do, I, I run them under water, running water. And um, then I take a towel and wipe them off. I want to make sure that I get all the dirt and everything off of them. What I'm doing now, these are collard greens. I'm just breaking the, the thick stem off, and uh, I'm not going to throw them away. A lot of people disregard them, but I don't. There's a lot of nutrients in the stem, so as much of it <laughs> as you can keep, you want to keep. So right, that's all I'm doing now is just breaking these stems off very quickly. It doesn't take all day. To just break them off. Okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to do now that I broke those stems off, I'm going to cut them up because I'm going to use them. And I'm going to put them in the pot first. Because they are a little thicker, I want them to go ahead and get a little head start on the cooking process. So I'm going to go ahead and put them You want me to hurry up, Mallory? Nana's hurrying up. Raw base, and it's kind of like those pack 
chips that come in your ramen noodles. It's just dried uh, chicken broth. This is a, a fourth of a teaspoon that I'm putting in there, um, but I put like three, four of them in there. And I'm going to add some olive oil. from the stem to stay in the pot. So I just wanted to add a little olive oil, but you know, the steam will help uh, start to uh, cook it down. So what I'm going to do now is get my greens going. So what I do is I just take a few of them and roll them like that. And 
uh, dry them off. I had somebody on Facebook say something about their, about the onion was making them cry. And um, I told them to run it under cold water when they peel it. This is a sweet onion. You know, I found that those yellow onions are the ones that are the meanest to an eyeball. So um, sometimes I like those those onions. I like them for chili and spaghetti because they're very strong. Um, this is a sweet onion, and uh, I don't find them as treacherous to the eyeball as a uh, one of those plain white yellow onions. Okay, so we're just going to dice it up a little bit, nice chunks, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in my skillet. And again, I'm using cast iron. Okay, and then I'm just going to chop up my red pepper. And I'm going to add this to my greens today. It looks like if I had left it in the refrigerator a couple more days, he'd have been on his way to the trash. So I don't want to waste it. I just spent my money on him. We're going to eat him up. All right, so let's add him in. Wait a minute. Let me make some room for him. Put my onions down there. All right. And then I'm going to put my red pepper in there. He was about to have some problems. I see a few little spots on it. So I'm going to get rid of that. There's a little hole right there. I'm going to get rid of that too. Alright. Just chop it up. Nice chunks. And these ought to bring a nice flavor to the green. And I'm going to add a little olive oil, as always. Uh-oh. Okay, my water for my uh, macaroni is evaporating very good. So I'm going to add just a little bit of, a little bit more water to it because I want it to cook just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That's all I want from that. I'm going to use my toaster oven today because, again, like I said, I'm just cooking for myself today. So I'm going to turn my toaster oven on. I'm going to put it on bake. I'm going to set my temperature to like 400 just to get it good and hot. And um, we're going to start that so I can get some heat on it. Let me spray my pan. With a little emerald agave there. There we go. The frame up real good. Yeah, I can feel that onion a little bit. I can feel it. But it's not as bad as it was. So I'm just going to run it under some cold water real quick. And dry it off. Okay. That ought to do it. And then I'm going to add a little bit to my macaroni. And that's all it is. It's just one little slice that I'm going to add to the macaroni. And you'll be amazed of the little taste that comes out of it from that. And I'm dicing it fairly thin, too. Very thin, I'm about to touch it. Hey, gal. I'm going to need you to calm yourself. Alright? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my chopped onions my macaroni water. Okay. And then I'm just going to use up the rest of the stuff.
All right, I'm back. I had to go lay her down. The other thing that I didn't do was add my jalapeno pepper to my onion and, and bell pepper mixture. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to feed out the majority of the heat of it. I want all those seeds out on this one. And there's a reason why. Um, typically I like heat. And I do like heat. But I finished my hot sauce bottle off. And I'm going to use the rest of that hot sauce in there for my greens. So that's why I don't need my jalapeno pepper to be that hot. So what you want to do, you want to get that white membrane out of there because that packs a lot of heat as well as the seeds. So you want that out if you want the heat. So it, it, that's something to remember if you ever want to control the heat of your uh, meals when you're using jalapeno is the seeds and that white membrane inside is where your heat is. So you can cut up, cut out or leave in. Alright, so I'm just going to cut them. They're just in a four or five, five strips. I'm going to add them in there like so. And these are coming out really nice. Alright. I'm going to turn the greens down a little bit. Because like I said, I haven't added any liquid to them yet. So I gotta get my sauce together for my macarons. So let me get rid of this over here in my junk bucket. And run my hands under this water so I don't burn my own eyeballs out. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead too and I still have a little bit of pepper on there. We're going to use that. I'm going to use it. We're going to eat it. I'm just going to dice it up a little bit. And there's another little piece of toss out. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to my mixture here. And this is looking very, very nice. Very pretty indeed. Let me see if I can lift it up. Can you see that? How pretty that is? That's nice. This is what we're going to add to the grease. Now let me get my smoked turkey wings out, which I should have already had out, but I didn't. We're going to turn off the front. Alright, we've got these at the, at the market. Can we just add them in? Give it a stir. The greens are already wilting up very nice, and you didn't see me add any water. Let me take one out so I can show it to you. See how loose they are? See how limp they're getting? That's why I'm telling you, you don't have to cook your greens to death. They already have enough liquid, and if you just put a lid on it, you'll capture it. So now I'm going to add my onions, my peppers, and all of that in there with my green. Okay? And that's how that goes down. I want all that out of there. All that goodness out of there. And now, now mind you, I did add that broth to it, and it's got some salt to it, but I know it's not going to be enough. I really just add that for seasoning. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to this. This will also help relieve any liquids and flavors inside of the vegetables that I sauteed up over in the cast iron. Alright. Now I'm going to show you when I'm going to add my add a liquid to it. So we want all that steam. So let's get that top back on there. And now I finished up some hot sauce yesterday. And I didn't throw away the bottle because it still had a little residue on the side. And what I'm going to do is add a little apple cider vinegar inside of here, just a little bit. 
alright, it's probably uh, maybe about two tablespoons, I'm guesstimating, if that, and I'm just going to give it a shake. I'm trying to get all of that off the side, okay, I did pretty good. And this, I'm going to add to my grain. And that's my heat, and that's why I didn't need my jalapeno to be screaming at me. I want to enjoy the green and not be crying about it the whole time. Okay, so now we got that taken care of, and now we're going to work on the sauce for the macaroni. First thing I'm going to do is add some butter. And again, you already know, if you've been watching the videos, I use real churned butter. We're going to add that. We're going to add some dried mustard. Okay. I'm going to add some sea salt. And it's going to be a little less. Uh, it's going to be a whole teaspoon. Uh, I'm going to add I don't need any cayenne pepper because that macaroni is going to be hot. I'm going to add white flour. Alright? I don't want my butter to, to brown up too fast, so I have to take it off real quick. Because butter burns if you don't add olive oil to it. So let me go ahead and add some to it. Okay? And I added quite a bit. Alright, can you see? See that in there? Yeah, butter will burn, baby, so you got to add something to it. So now we're going to go ahead, and this is called a roux. And this is how I make my macaroni and cheese. And what, to make a roux, you add your butter first, then you add your dry. And what you're going to do is let it cook. So I think this is probably about maybe a cup of, of, of white flour that I'm sprinkling in here. Probably about a cup. The baby's still in there cutting up. She's an honorary one. <laughs> Alright, so I added my sea salt. Uh, let me get some mustard out. I know I added the dried mustard. But I like that the, the tanginess. It brings, it emphasizes the taste of the cheese. It helps it out a lot. And I'm not a person that's lactose tolerant, so uh, I tend not to use as much cheese as a lot of other people do. I usually counteract that with flavor. So what I'm going to do now, give it a stir. Give it a stir because you want this uh, butter to melt all in that flour. And you want the flour to cook a little bit. So it won't taste like dust. If you cook flour, uh, it, it, it releases like this kind of nutty flavor. Uh, and that's why you want to cook it. Because that's going to enhance the flavor of the sauce for your macaroni. Or any other sauce you want to use it for. I've, I've actually made uh, this cheese sauce for asparagus. Okay, so can you see it? It's good and crumbly like. Okay, so now I'm going to start to add my water. But first, let me add some black pepper. Just a little bit because I like to add my black pepper on the top of it too. So I just want to hit it just a little bit in there. Alright, and I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil. Alright, and I'm also going to add just a little bit more butter. And then once the butter melts, then I'm going to go ahead and add my milk. And like I said, I'm not lactose tolerant, so I use almond milk. Uh, I used to use soy, but soy was kind of mean to me. I didn't get along well with soy. So when they came out with the almond milk, this was the greatest thing for me because I was a huge cow milk drinker until I found out what the hell is in cow milk and I broke up with that real quick. So anyway, this is the original pure almond flavor. They have vanilla and they also have chocolate. I like that chocolate with vanilla vodka. 
Boy, I tell you what. But this is just the original. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit in. You don't pour it all in at once. You add it a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. Because if you add it in all at once, all that lumpy, separated, will stay that way. And you'll be biting little balls of flour and mustard. And I guess that's cool if you're looking for that sort of thing. But that's not what I'm looking for. I want it to be creamy. So I'm just mashing it in the milk. And you're just going to keep doing this process until it's all done. So what I'm going to do while I work with this, I'm going to cut you off for a second so I can get down with it, okay? All right. So I have it, and it's kind of thick. You see that? Can you see that? I know that light. I'm going to have to do something about that light, but it's kind of thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little water, a little distilled water to it, just to thin it out just a little bit. I just want to thin it out. And you also have to remember, I still have a little bit of liquid left from the macaroni if it hasn't soaked it all up. Okay. I just want to thin it out just a little bit. oven is getting hot. Okay. Give her a taste real quick. That's kind of nice, but it's still something missing. Um, what's missing? It needs a little bit more sea salt. I'm just going give to it, give it a little bit more of that. And then, I'm gonna add in. Uh, I'm gonna add in a little thyme. Okay, I'm gonna add a little thyme to it to give it a nice little flavor. And this is just ground thyme. And I'm also gonna add a little. Very light amount. Very light. Okay. And we're going to stir it up a little bit. Oh, and it smells nice. Now, I'm going to turn my fire off underneath my. Oh, that was the green. We don't want to do that. I'm going to turn it off under the salt. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do. It's still a little thicker than I, than I want it to be, so I'm, again, I'm going to add well, the rest of that water. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. But it just thins it out just a little bit because it's a, it's a sauce, and it's got flour in it, so when I put it in the oven, it's going to, uh, it's going to cook. It's going to stiffen up. So I don't want it to be dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese in. This was a uh, two cup bag. And we just want that to melt. That's all. And again, the fire is off. The sauce is hot enough to melt the cheese. I've already sprayed my pan. Okay, that's really nice, but you want it to melt. Almost completely. Alright, I still have a few little orange spots of cheese in there that didn't melt all the way, and that's fine because the rest of it is going to take care of itself in the oven. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to add my sauce to my macaroni. And I may not need all the sauce. That's why I don't add my macaroni to the sauce. I add the sauce to the macaroni because if I don't need it all, I can put it in a container and put it in the freezer and use it for another day. So we just want to stir this up and make sure all the macaroni 
get some cheese on it. And then all that sauce in there. And you have to remember too that macaroni absorbs. So if you need to add a little bit more oil, do that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. And it looks like I'm going to have some left to put in the freezer for another day. Alright, so that looks nice. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour this in my pan. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It smells good too. And I'm just going to even it out. Alright. And now I'm going to add my black pepper to the top. You can use cayenne pepper or whatever, but for macaroni, I just like that peppery taste that uh, comes from black pepper. Alright. And that's all I'm going to do to that. Go ahead now. I didn't let the oven warm up on 400, so now I'm going to put some more time on it. I'm going to turn turn it down to uh, make sure I can pick it up. All right, I'm a, I'm going to let this six minutes run out on the 400, and then I'm going to cut it down to 350. And then I'm going to let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. But I want to see how well it does on the 400 for the 6 minutes. Uh, let's check on the uh, green. Right, because you don't want to uncover them too much because we need the steam. But I still need to stir things up. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, and they smell so good with that smoked turkey wings in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. And they're pretty much done. Again, let me show you. They're done, as far as I'm concerned. See that? They got the nice dark color. They're nice and loose. Pretty much now, I'm just going to let it cook just to get release some more of the flavors out. But for the most part, they're done. I'm going to take one out and give it a taste just to make sure that it's not too chewy. But I most definitely don't want it mush. So let's take that out. Right, I'm going to put the lid on that. And I told y'all about steaming afros, didn't I? <laughs> I got my pick in my pocket in case my fro tries to rebel. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what? That taste right there reminds me of my grandmother's house. I don't know why, but there's something in there that's remind me of I'm a genius. Hold on. Let me see if I can pinpoint what it is. I think it's an onion. And it may be that combination of that hot sauce, but there's something in there that's screaming I'm a team. I'm loving these. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add just a little bit more sea salt. Just a little bit more. And that's it. And then I'm going to cut it off. So, in that length of time, we got macaroni and cheese in the oven. And we got green. So I'm going to cut you all off for a little bit. And, oh no, I can't cut you off yet. We got to do the tomatoes and garlic. Hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. Let me show you how to do this. Now, typically, I would do this with fresh basil. But I don't have any basil. And I'm mad about it. I didn't do well this year in my garden. So, what I have to do... Let me rinse these off real quick. I bought these yesterday at the, at the market. 
and I didn't rinse them off. I just took them out the bag and put them on the table. But let me let me run them off real quick. Okay, let's dry them off. I'm going to turn the board over. And you can also do this. Let's just say you've had a tomato that's been sitting for a minute and it's not bad and you still don't want a burger or you can't think of anything to do with it. All you need to do is wash it, but you're just going to have to eat it that, eat it that day. So all I'm doing now is just corn it out. Alright, I'll tell you, I love tomatoes. I eat tomatoes at least, I would say, three to four times in a week. Uh, even if I have a burger, I can eat a whole tomato with a burger. And I'll slice it and put some of it on the burger, and then the rest I'll just slice and put it on the plate. Alright, so we're going to gonna slice these up. Let me wipe that off real quick. And we're just going to slice them, like so. And they're fairly thick slices, fairly. Um, I, I would use these slices on a burger. I would, personally, but I told you I'm a tomato person. See the thickness of that? And I'm just going to lay that in my, in my pan here. This is one of my daughter's favorites. She likes these. And I'm going to lace it up with a little olive oil. And if I had some fresh basil, I would chop it and sprinkle that on top, but I don't. So, I'm going to have to leave that part out. This is garlic. It's peeled garlic. They just changed the container from this to this, which is probably cheaper for them, but I actually like the plastic container, so I'm going to keep it. Alright, so I just got like four cloves of uh, garlic out. And I'm going to go ahead and slice these other ones because I'm going to layer it. And this is so good. You haven't had tomatoes and greens. Food, when you get those combinations together, can really uh, change how you like them. Because food combination is where it's at as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little sea salt on that. And then I'm going to crush up my garlic to release the oils in that. You all, if you want that really garlicky taste, you want to crush it to get that oil to release. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you rub your fingers on it, your fingers will be kind of sticky. And that's the, the garlic... Uh, juice in there or the oils in there that you want to remove. So now I'm just going to run that across and layer that up. I, like I said, I don't have any. Alright, so now I'm going to continue to bake and I'm going to let it roll for 30 minutes and check the temperature is on 350 and start. So I have some dried basil in here somewhere and that is what I'm going to use. I have parsley. There should be some here's oregano. We'll keep that out. Ouch. Uh, I thought I had some Italian seasoning. We'll keep that out. I thought that I had some basil in here. I'm going to have to put that on my list. I got bay leaves and I have parsley flakes. So we're going to go with the Italian seasoning because I'm pretty sure that they probably got some dried uh, basil in there. So we're just going to get out a sprinkle. Generous sprinkle. And then I'm going to add some more tomatoes. Alright. Just layer it up. And I'm going to add some more olive oil. Right? I'm going to hit it up with a little bit more sea salt. Make sure I wipe my fingers off. I think I'll just use sprinkle it on this way. Okay? And then we're going to add 
some more of our Italian seasoning on there. And then a little bit more of the garlic. Alright, and you just do the same thing again. But it's really fancy when, really super good when you have that fresh though. It's nothing like fresh. So I'm going to add the rest of my chopped garlic. And that's it for that. Hit it up one more time. Alright. And we're going to add just a little bit more sea salt to it. And that's over. And that's it. Put the lid on it and let it sit. Do not put it in the refrigerator. Just let it sit to the side. Alright. And I'm going to clean up and get things straightened out a little bit. And I'll check back in with you when the uh, macaroni is done. Alright? Okay. I had the macaroni is still cooking, but I decided that I want some uh, rice with my greens. I like to put it on top. Uh, and it also stretches out the greens a little bit more. So again, I, I'm, I'm using bottled water. And I'm going to use the whole bottle. And it's just uh, ice mountain. And then I'm going to grate up I got my cast iron warming up because if you all watched the first video, I fixed that hot water cornbread and I had it left. So I'm going to go ahead and add, cook a little bit of that up today and I wanted to show you uh, how to do it after it's been sitting in the refrigerator. Now, quite honestly, this was the last minute when I was washing dishes, I remember. And uh, I should have taken that out earlier today so it would have been room temperature. But it is. So, we're going to roll with it just the way it is. So all I'm doing now is just adding some frozen lemon zest to my rice. Because that's the way I like it. And I would advise you to try it. Alright, put these back in the freezer. I put some uh, butter in my cast iron skillet. And I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil because I told you butter burns. Okay, so I don't want the butter to burn. Alright, and then I'm also going to add, I want to make sure I get all that uh, that zest off of there because it's delicious and we don't want to waste not one piece of it. Okay. Alright, so let me add a little sea salt to my water. I'm using less than a teaspoon on this one because the greens already have enough um, salt in them. And if not, then I'll just do it, you know, when I eat the meal if I want to add some more salt. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook. And I, I'm going to add some coconut oil to my rice instead of butter. And if you haven't used coconut oil, you should. Um, it's good to use in place of butter. Uh, and it doesn't taste like coconut. I had some dumbass try to tell me that one day. Like, it does. It's going to change the taste of my eggs if for you. Shut your hillbilly ass off. It is not going to change the taste because it has no taste at all. But I ain't even argue with him. I just sat there and looked at his dumb ass. But this is Luetta All Natural Coconut Oil. I got this from uh, Walmart over in your... Uh, Oh, hell. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm about to mess with my... Let me turn that fire down a little bit. My butter is starting to turn a little brown. But it, it, it should be over with your oils, your cooking sprays, and all that kind of stuff. All right. Now, here's my salt, my hot water cornbread that I mixture that I made the other day. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. Now, had I had taken it out earlier, uh, I would have been able to ball it up because it would have been soft. 
But since I did it, it's cold, I'm going to have to pry it up just like this. And I'm just going to cut these in half. Like that. Okay, I'm back. Macaroni is done, and we are at the point where it's time for me to play everything up and give her a taste. So, the macaroni is done. I just took it out, and I made some jasmine rice, which I'm going to put some on here. I want to go ahead and do this while, the, while Mallory is asleep. She wanted to go night-night. You know, it's nice to be able to help the kids out when they, uh, you know, when little emergencies like that happen. It's nice being at home to be able to watch the baby. I get to spend a little time with her, and, and it helps them out. I remember when Chris and Shay were little, and I had a hard time finding a babysitter. You know, finding one you can trust, but to me, you got some good family members that'll watch your baby for you, take advantage of that and, and look out for that family member because everybody doesn't have uh, thoughtful family members. And a lot of people that do think everybody does. And uh, I know for a fact that it's not true. Good friends and good family members are a blessing. And, uh, oh, wow, these greens smell so good. Oh, and they're so pretty. Can you can you see that? Oh my goodness. We're just gonna put a little of this on top of the rice. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat today because I knew I was gonna cook. Let me get a little bit of this smoked turkey wing. Let's see if I can get some off of this one. This is a big one here, but I just want to give it a taste. Okay. All right, and then I fried up those uh, a little bit of the hot water cornbread. There's something in my eye. Gotta eat two of those. Oh, something in my eye. Now I tell you this right here: tomatoes, very good. And they smell wonderful too. Oh, I got something in my eyes. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what that is. But I tell you what, it ain't gonna stop me from eating. How about that? All right, so let's get us a couple of tomatoes on here. All right, move that over to the side. Let me get me a beverage out. I already got my glass iced up. And I got just a little bit of orange tea left. I have to make another pot of it today. So I told you I, I like my orange tea. Alright, the glass is nice and frothy. I got it sitting on top of my Lyric Original Tile Coaster. I always have to show y'all something because I'm telling you, I use my merchandise. Everything that I put in those online stores, um, I use it. And I I design them all and um, they all have numbers. But um, I like to use them because I can't tell you to use them if, if I don't use them. So I need to see if they function well, and I actually like like them. I think they're pretty, and I also like to not scratch up my table. Now, let's go in on this macaroni uh, choice, because I tell you what. Now, I would like to let it sit just a few more minutes, but we don't have time for all of that. So we just going to go ahead and plate her up right there. Woo! Oh man, I might end up in the bed with Mallory. She might have to make room for Nana in her crib. Hold on, let me set this over on the side. It's super hot. 
All right. All right, let's make some room over here. And let's get it going. Oh, it smells so good. This was worth not waiting up, waking up to eat. Hold on. Oh, what are we going to taste first? Let's, let's taste this macaroni first. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. Hold on. Oh, that's good. That's that nice peppery. It took about, if you don't have a toaster oven, you should to get you a toaster oven. Uh, mine was a gift. Somebody bought it for me a few years back. And um, as of lately, I have started to use it more and more, especially in the summer. When you don't want to turn that big monster oven on, get you a toaster oven. Just invest in some smaller little pans that will fit inside of it. That's the hard part is finding pans that will fit in there. Um, but I think overall, this cooks in the toaster oven for about, for about an hour. The last 10 minutes, I put it on broil um, just to make sure that I bake that top part because I like a little crunch to it. It's excellent. Just that one little piece of onion chopped up makes all the difference. Alright, so again, if you watch any of my other videos, you know I love jasmine rice. And I just added a little lemon zest to it and a little sea salt and some coconut oil. Now, even though coconut oil doesn't have any flavor, somehow it manages to enhance the flavor of whatever it is you use it in. Alright, let's give it a roll. Excellent. You know what? I don't even taste. You seen that hot sauce I mixture I put in there with the vinegar? It was just enough, but I don't taste any heat, and um, so this is not going to set your mouth on fire. And I know when I started to cook it, it looked like, oh my gosh, she put jalapenos in it and hot sauce. But I'm telling you, I am a heat person, spice heat. And, um, you can't, it doesn't taste like I put, I mean, I can taste the flavor of it, but I can't taste the heat of it, which, you know, most people want to avoid. Nope. All right. That's very good. But I still think you should let it sit out at room temperature before you um, fry it back up. But it's very good. I need to taste it by itself to see if it's as good as it was when I first made the uh, made the mixture. Uh, Alright, now let's give it a taste. Let me see. Because that's what I want to see. If it doesn't have that same just fresh made, then toss it. Mmm. It'll do. But I would say it's not as good as it is when I first made the, the mixture and put it on. Um, but it's tolerable. We can eat it. Um, what I will do is I'm going to leave the batter out, leave that mixture out, and let it get room temperature, and then I'm going to fry it again and see what happens. Because a lot of times, when you cook things from, take things from the cold to the heat, it doesn't always work well. You need to give it a chance to, to relax, and the molecules inside need to, to, to mix again, because everything is, is stiff. So you just give it a minute and everything, and then the flavor should should come back to life. So yeah, I, I would not, uh, I'm going to try that again with the warm. Now let me get a tomato to try. Tomatoes and greens is an excellent combination if you haven't already discovered that. Mmm, so good. Mmm, that's good. 
to taste this turkey. It's excellent. Now, I didn't do anything to the turkey. All I did was buy it. I bought it fresh from the market and it's smoked turkey wings. It's excellent. It brought a nice flavor to the greens. Uh oh. I think Miss Mallory is waking up. Mmm. That's very good. I tell you what. If you all have any topics that you want to talk about, any dishes you would like me to cook, feel free to, to inbox me and let me know what, you know, even if it's something that um I've never fixed before. Hey, we can dance together and try it. So, till next time, take care of yourself, take care of your people, and uh, keep a lyric in your heart.